What is up guys, it's Mel and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. This is a Mel at the Movies reaction and it's for a movie called The Pope's Exorcist starring Russell Crowe, amazing actor. Um, and obviously it's going to be demonic and possession related because it's called The Pope's Exorcist. Um, I don't really know how to feel about these movies anymore. You know, I, um, there was a movie that was out years ago I can't remember the name of it. If I can remember the name, I will leave it here or down in the description box. But that film was great. It was Timothy, uh, I think it was Timothy Dalton as the priest. And that was really good. And I think that was in the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. And it was about a young boy who was possessed. And I think that that took um, inspiration from a real case supposedly um but yeah i don't know much about it i saw it on my feed and put it into my watch later so we're going to jump into it if you're new to my channel hi i'm mel i'm a variety streamer and reactor on twitch as well as right here on youtube consider subscribing it's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time and without further ado let's jump into the pope's exorcist but you do you only do because god allows it give me a lot <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting that. <coughs> Father Gabriele Amore. On the night of June 4th, you performed an exorcism. That was not an exorcism. The majority of cases do not require an exorcism. 98% are recommended by him to doctors and psychiatrists. The other 2%, I call it evil. Chief we Exorcist have more questions you, Father Amor. You have a problem with me. You talk to my boss. The Pope. There is a case that needs your attention. Bring me the priest. I'm here to help, Julia. <laughs> no, you're not. Wrong priest! They caution their secrets buried there. Is the Vatican seal? The church has fought against this demon before. Ooh. The Vatican covered it up. We need to find out why. You've been played. You talk to fate. Whatever you do, you only do because God allows it. <laughs> Give me a lot of Imagine what could happen if the devil possessed the soul of the Pope's exorcist. Who will defend you? My faith does not require defense. Okay, so that was The Pope's Exorcist starring Russell Crowe. It looks phenomenal. Um, I was really hesitant to jump into this trailer because, you know, you don't want it to be like a rape other movie that's come out about possessions or demonic activity and things like that because it does get tiresome quite a lot. I know that they're remaking The Exorcist, the 1978 version. Um, at least I think it came out in 1978. Uh, I've been 75. Let me know in the comments. I could be mistaken. I, f I remember. I'll leave it here. <laughs> um, it looks good. I know that my facial reaction said a lot during that trailer, um, but it does look good. I'm excited to see it. The ending of that trailer was so trippy, um, and it's inspired by the actual files of the Vatican's chief exorcist, obviously with a lot of embellishments. Um, it looks good. Russell Crowe is an amazing actor, so I know that it will be good because it never disappoints. And it's out April 14th and exclusively in movie theatres. I don't think it's coming to streaming. Um, 
But let me know what you guys think about the Pope's Exorcist. Are you going to be watching it in cinemas? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else that you would like me to react to, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.